Hello friends, this is me Anmol Samsung and you all are watching ARS Biologicals. So you must have seen the thumbnail also and the topic also. So in this video we will be discussing why this aphids and ants are together in some plants or bushes. So let's get started. So friends, I have a chili plant over here as you all can see. This plant is bearing some chilies. This is a small baby, I just pluck it half. And so friends, as I have shown you the chili plant, and this plant is infected by uh, the families of ants and aphids. So our first question arises in our mind is why this aphids and ants are together in this bushes like this. So uh, I'm going to show you a footage of ants and aphids in this chili plant. So friends, as I have shown you the footage, uh, the ants and the aphids are together like this and the reason behind they are together, uh, staying together is a phenomena known as symbiosis. So symbiosis is a condition in which two organisms are benefited or at least one organism is benefited. So it's kind of helping each other. So symbiosis in symbiosis two organisms are at least present or more than two are also sometimes present and from the two or more than two at least one species or the one organism is benefited so symbiosis is we see symbiosis in many many organisms around us even around even in your locality also simple uh, um, example of symbiosis i can give you is uh, you all have seen trees with uh, lichens and mosses growing in it so this is a type of symbiosis so the lichens grow in the bark of the tree and absorb all the nutrients and water of that tree so and in exchange lichens and mosses sometimes some kinds of lichens and mosses produce nitrogen gas for the trees so in this way both organism or the both species are getting benefited so there are mainly uh, three types of symbiosis and let's discuss about them so first symbiosis is known as uh, mutualism so ants and aphids are a perfect example of mutualism so in mutualism two organisms are present or more than two organisms are present and the organism which are present so in aphids and ants two organisms are present one is ant and another one is aphid so in this kind of symbiosis the both organism is benefited so i'm continuing the question how um, why this ants and aphids are together with this mutualism so mutualism is a kind of symbiosis in which both organisms are benefited so ants and aphids are present together because the aphids first of all the aphids uh, feed on the plant or the tree which is our chili plant over here and they when they digest that food they have the ability to produce the sweet kind of liquid uh, which is consumed by the ants in exchange what do ants do is defend the aphids so aphids are very very fragile and very very weak organisms they have no kind of defense system also so in exchange the as the aphids are giving ants the sweet liquid uh, substance in exchange the ants protect the aphids and their aphid colonies so this is type of one symbiosis known as mutualism another one is known as commensalism so in commensalism uh, only one organism is benefited 
both organisms are present but only one organism is present uh, another one is non-affected for example i'm giving an example of cattle aggregate so you plain sites or the people who lives in plain sites can experience commensalism or they can see commensalism in their daily life with buffaloes or any kinds of bison with birds perching on them so one bird commonly known as uh, cattle aggregate as the name derived cattle aggregate the bird always is seen perching on a bison's back so that what does that back birds do so the bisons or some buffaloes when they are grazing in the grassland of plain sites area any type of grassland so the insects hiding inside the grass jump out and as the bird is on the on the back of the uh, cattle and when the insects jump out of from the grass the birds take the advantage and grab the insects jumping out of their homes so in this way cattle aggregates are benefited and the cattle which is our buffalo or the bison is unaffected that means they don't have they do not get any kinds of effects with this kind of symbiosis and the third one is a simple type of symbiosis known as predation so in predation uh, this happens in uh, wilderness especially in wilderness uh, one example is a uh, lion has just killed a deer and the lion is feeding her baby babies with that deer so in predation uh, an organism is killed by another organism and that organism gets benefited with that killed organism so it's like a tiger eating a meat of a deer so and talking about this ants ants and aphids they have a uh, very very kind of they have a great instinct so charles darwin charles robert darwin once uh, published in his book also or the origin of species uh, in the page oh, sorry in the chapter instinct there is a different chapter named instinct in charles darwin's origin of species in that chapter he has written that once he was observing some aphids and ants together like this he was observing the symbiosis between ants and aphids and what he did was he separated or he isolated all the ants from the place where those aphids and ants were living he only left that aphids over there and with the help of an hand lens he uh, uh, carefully observed the organism and he saw that before the aphids were producing a sweet kind of that liquid but when he isolated the ants the aphids suddenly stopped uh, production of that sweet liquid so and so he realized that uh, those aphids only produce that uh, liquid when the ants were present and when he T took one ant and placed it on the leaf of that plant where the aphids were aphid colonies were there the aphids suddenly started the production of sweet liquid so this is a great instinct which was uh, described by charles robert darwin in his origin of species so he concluded that the aphids only produced the liquid particles liquid substance when the feeding territories or the ants were there Ten. Thank you friends for watching my videos so if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe it right now and please don't miss my daily updates and please be sure to follow me in instagram this much for today bye bye